I'll spin around if you're still struggling there. Oh, I'm gonna wait till. There's that camera over there in Grotto. Just, um, Megan. Yep. Judging from this and where those samplers are, should we leave the larval traps in the bio box and just get those, everything off the porch first? What do you think? Yeah. We well, can, those samplers uh, should as be long as way, you can. They're in the starboard bio box, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they're all in the starboard bio box. Yeah. Uh, we're just about ready to dump them out here. Okay, if you're if you're happy here, then go ahead. Do you think uh, you can oh. land without those poking something? Jake can do it. Reminding that we need a horizontal surface also, yeah. right? The tubes must be vertical. Roger, vertical tubes. What the? It's not much horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no. sorry, slide back to your right there in that flat spot. I'm working my own in front of the vehicle. Yeah, you can see in your camera the Ricky on the back. You can yep. see the IP is just back there. Just off to the starboard mm -hmm. side. Yeah. Right there, Jake. Right here? Yeah, planet right there. Maybe forward a little. That's where we first landed, I think. Yeah, sorry. Changing my mind on you. I was thinking I would set them down out to the starboard, but I can bring them around in front where everyone can see what's going on. What's going on? I don't know. That doesn't look flat either. It's flat in front of us. No. Come forward a bit more. What's wow. those tips on the... It's Endeavor, define flat. I'll have to come forward a bit more. Forward? Sure. Over these rocks right here? Yeah. Yeah. Put your porch on the rocks. Oh, yeah, right there. Yep. Planner. Oh, oh good stuff. Happy? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you want to stick lock. You might want to hold on to it, but yeah. if it's stable, you're fine. Stick locking. Fabio, and we can place these right next to each other. That's okay. Um, yeah. What? Yeah. No, two meters apart. Do we have a about one a arm length apart? Yeah, that's right. fine. Half a fathom. Are you good, Jake? Yeah. Yeah. And just be careful of using yeah. the stick lock too soon, because um, yeah. you'll start drifting. So. Especially yeah, the arm coming on. Gauge check, check. Wrong button, sorry. <laughs> This one is yeah, stick walk around the vents. Borrow traps are somewhere up here ish. <laughs> Want me to rack back? Touch screen. What's that? Want me to rack back? Get a view of the no, no, I don't need your camera right now. It's not a sample tray coming out. Dun, 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 dun. Check out my get slick yeah. rigging. <laughs> There's a grotto over on the right. Draw. is going to draw us a spot here. On the rock? And on there. The rock. Okay.
going like crazy. Auto deploy. Nice catch. Yeah, uh, <laughs> time cruise. Yeah. Uh, I just had it wrapped around the jaw. Sorry. Oh, okay. It came off the jaw. Little yo-yo. So Fabio right. pointed the out somewhere on this area in there. Sick. The monkey fists are way too long. We shorten them up with rubber bands and then. Is this okay, Fabio? Uh, yeah. If it lands flat, perfect. Flat oh. ish. Oh. Flat ish. That's, yeah, sounds good. Oh, well, deployed. Halfway done the first task. Is that uh, monkey fist meant to float there forever? Because you know it's not. Um. What do you want? Uh, what would you like the label for what these? What are one of three dozen lar PSI? Larval traps? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, sounds good. It's, it's struggling. Larval trap. It's been struggling. 29, 30. Are you, you're not in stick No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not even full. So I can't hear you that 60%. Not, I'm not yeah. a heading. Oh, he's over in chart. Um, can't hear him for some reason. Take off auto heading for a minute. Just uh, let your bird come off and then back on real quick. Okay. That'll do. You got her. Yep. this problem now. Changing the pump hasn't uh, resolved it. I think we're opening the system relay valve. Change that next. Where do you think then of that? Yeah. Back there. Oh, you want it over there. Oh. See that, Dan? It's a rubber band. What a rubber band trick here. Yeah, yeah somewhere to the right. You think it's somewhere over there. You got any more right. tilt, right? I mean, no, that's right? it. I can rack back. Even on that rock kind of looks a little flat. You can rack back, yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot. I'll give you a little bit. How about there? Yeah, it's great. Probably you like that? You happy? Yeah, that sounds good. Nice. Okay, so we will need a location for these and so that and Ricky if you can record that. Okay. Roger, I have the location for him. I'll bring it up camera. on the screen and then I'd like to get just a fix on top of the IP so we'll get an uh, location there, and then we'll know all of the offsets. I plan to drop targets based on where 
our vehicle position is, and then offsets can be calculated later by you guys rather than landing targets on a map that, you know. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Good. so you want me to come off bottom and go above him? No, you want? So you got to take it right, right here. here. He's going to drop um, the position targets, and then we'll Target. have to add the offsets later so they match yeah, up. Yeah, one second. Yeah, because I don't want to drop them on the map. It just gets kind of confusing. I'm then I'm then guessing what part of Grotto it, uh, we're currently at, or you know, based you on yours. Yeah. So we'll just go with the offset. You got a position here, did you, Randy? I got a position for the larval traps. I'd like to get one on top of the IP, if that's all right, oh, with on the top back of the row. IP. Yeah, right well, it's all right with me. Check one of 70. <laughs> yeah, every hour. Roger. finish my system health check and I'll be right there. Roger that and the next one coming will be the IP once we're settled over it for a few for a couple of clicks. I think I by mistake put the steel camera on the turbolometer. Uh, so I lost right. I lost control of the manual. Uh, and then just here just okay, here right by. is the uh, oh hey, I can help him. Oh great Dan's gonna help you. He knows more about that than I do anyway. Fighting this up so for you, Jake. On USBLs? Yeah, just getting a few USBL yeah. pings, and yeah. it's kind of looking to me like we're we're okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is MEF IP link twenty three oh six. Do you need that data? I'll leave that up on the screen. Yeah, run into this problem with offsets. So the ship we know is exactly where the ship is. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that we, that even at Atlanta, if it was more north than we think it is, which I don't believe it can be more north than, say, here, we wouldn't, we could barely reach that. So I think, I don't know, these always question the AUV maps, but yeah. AUV positioning. Is AUV it? positioning, sub C. Yeah. Big problem. We know about that. Uh -huh. Alright, so we're heading north again? South. South to the Grotto. To the Grotto. No, uh, south to the South IP and Smoke and Mirrors, is that correct? Yeah, to Sonia Village. Right. Sonia Village. Yeah, sorry, not the Grotto. Sonia Village. Sonia yeah. Village. Right. Looks like a Grotto. Everything's got several names. Roger, thank you, Data. So there's a cable you can follow. Okay. You want to call from the Delta? The cable you're looking for is a red white. As I come underneath. Heading south from the IP. Red white cable? It's a oily with red and white tape heading south from the IP, yeah. Uh, Roger, so if you want to follow a cable. It's not quite a direct route, but Okay, you are quite off. There's to only the really one going that direction. East right now? To the east. That's what you've you've gone quite east of the uh, IP. Something up in the water column there maybe? No, it's on the bottom. Let's give that's you a tuck. So I'm gonna turn uh Oh, that's our counterclockwise turn, or that's our clockwise turn, isn't it, Jake? Yeah, that was. 
So well, that's the end of the blue cable, cable and the end of this cable. So you can half a turn. over here somewhere. Yeah, right now you have one turn in, so oh, okay. I'm going to hit zero and we'll call it good. Yes. And then I am going to spend a lamp. So I, did, back to the I did not okay. catch, okay. capture that. No, sorry. Yeah, we'll get that uh, we'll, when we go back to it. Um, we're following a red. Where where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> You're up in the air. <laughs> Get back down. <laughs> just hanging out here. Yeah. You know, just figuring out what's going on. 12 meters off. Just <laughs> go <laughs> get back down there. Get my break. You said it's out. <laughs> I'm headed south. Yeah, we want to follow. Nothing there but rocks and cable. We follow the cable. Rocks and old cables. I think under all circumstances, I will need to move Atalanta further south than it is. Uh, I reckon. Because I believe that the R offsets are southish. Hey, look, there's a cable to follow. There's something. And we're going to smoke and mirrors in the south bars, is that right? Yeah, first to the bars. First to so the we're bars. we're following it to the IP, then we're going to follow the cable from the IP down to the bars. Okay. You can't so. miss it, Jake. It's this giant thing on your sonar. You just fly, you'll hit it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sonar target. I'm going to go four zero meters south with Atalanta. Roger. Bridge now. So if you give her now, does it? Four up? zero meters south. You can Thank you. And you can flat foot it. Point south five is fine. Follow the cable. Yes. Thank you. It's still dumping flow though. If you, but that's what the craft off. So. I want to come down a little bit. I think I'm getting pulled around. Yeah, you can. Like oh me. Yeah. Horrible Argus pilot, I tell you. I'm gonna keep on me. I'm to slack <laughs> off over here. You wonder why I'm 12 meters in the air. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Uh, always the arrow. Always the arrow. Not the, uh, not the archer. You gotta bark at your Argus pilot once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. When I yelled at you, you should have just yelled at Dan. Always Dan, the Argus, Dan can not the, yell at not Ed. the Herc. Let's keep going. <laughs> We're you on do want to be south. well south of Argus, though, because it's yeah. a tall structure, so you want to hit it before Argus does. Yeah. So you'd like to acquire the IP uh. first, the south IP? Roger. So I'll just keep going south here. I'm going to make the cables off to your right, but it'll come back in at some point. RC North, right? Yeah. Well, it's Some uh, weights. Cancer yeah, I see it on here. Item. RC North on this map, sitting right there. Yeah. Someone did a really interesting diagram. Okay, so that is the SPS BPR. Okay, that checks out from our offset, just about. Uh, I will make note of it once we're right over it as a position to navigate with later. So we got a 20 meters north offset? Yes, our, we are about 20 meters south-ish right. of their point, south, southeast, or south, southwest. Okay, oh, and that oh, was the S-P-S? Like yeah, it's kind of stuck into the rock there. And that should be a cable that's not connected to anything. Okay. Checks out. So Megan, this will be a good time to just quickly take note of our um, of the situation as we're coming in. 
Sorry, I have not been dropping targets in Ravnav yet, but I have them all in high pack, so it's too many things to do at once. Alright, so already this is looking interesting, eh? Coming in from this direction. Two cable spin that shows only one. Yeah. Weird. Well, it's two through this part. Okay, so you think it's going to disappear again for a bit. All right. It's another one of those items. Yeah, I think it's just cut off from this diagram. It's too far away. Maybe. Yeah, always waiting on that. Per usual. I come down a bit more. Won't be very much. Aerial footage of today's dive provided by the Goodyear Blimp. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. compass still has an annoying offset. because we have the delicate feelers out in front of the vehicle. Yeah. More, more yeah. Heavy. No, this height is good. Um, once we get to the instrument platform, we kind of want to check out the cable, just a general overview of the cable layout because we're going to be playing around with them later. Yep. Those two curb feelers we have out you're talking about, Dan? Yeah. You probably don't even know what those are. Do you know what those are? What's Remember that? those curb feelers? No? I think that's a back east city thing only. No. People would put these, these parallel in, cables should go away, things huh? on their fenders to find it's the curb when they thing. They do go quite far. These two. The parallels. And this one. Yeah, I wouldn't I wasn't expecting it to to keep going still like this, be yeah. Parallel. Metadata is messed up. Dan, do you know how to do that? Yeah, well, I, do. We, I mean, can do this later. Just not, it's not a big deal now. Um, <laughs> I can do it now. Jump for that rock, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to claim this rock as mine. I got all the time in the world. Just go up. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. Just <laughs> avoid the rock. Heading straight for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're also in control of your own speed. <laughs> you tell that. Uh, jelly. Oh, jelly. I remember seeing this rock off. Bobby, you're missing a jellyfish. Hmm. It's not focusing. Adelante is still moving That's south. That's a good roller. That just came through. Oh. Yeah. I think this is where they split, Dirk. <laughs> right at the rock. The fork in the road. If they do, we should we could probably mark that on our little map. Yeah. Because that's an interesting 
thing to know. Do you know where they go to? Well, no, they, those on our maps, they, those two cables are only parallel for a very short amount of time. Mm. And, and now they, we know why they, well, they deviate split the from rock. each other. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. So this is this guy. So does this one go to the IP or the other one? The other one goes more directly to the IP, oh. but no. um, they both go to the IP. They both go pretty well. Well, it depends well, if you follow both, it so to the west This is the left first. one. This is the more direct one. This is okay. Yeah. This they're following this one right now. I'm, uh, a bit stretched out. No, they after the rock they went back over. Oh, they did go over. Oh yeah, you're right there. The IP is in sight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <coughs> so this is kind of this. Is, this all is like here. <laughs> <laughs> so this tracks everything that we're seeing is about 20 meters south. That's you, fine. You I'll deal with well, it a little this shift. This morning, a 20 minute, 20 meter offset as well. What's that? Don't we have the similar offset this morning? No, it was 50 yeah. meters this morning. Oh, well, okay. that's the thing. Night. It was only one thing that was that off. I, and the dead reckoning we found was a bit off between the things. Oh. So I think one of those items, I think the IP, is everything else seemed about 20 meters off, but the IP was a bit more off, if I'm not mistaken, at Mothra. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, so it's, and the, yeah, the dead wreck between them is not quite right. There it is. Atalanta still on the move. Hey Dirk, you want to do a tour around this way, hey? Yeah, we want to kind of head around the right side of the platform while looking kind of this height. This is a good height. Okay. okay. Good altitude. Trying to set us up for success here. I'll go another one five meters south. Roger. And that should still be okay. What do we have? What? There's some tall stuff down here, which is what basically I have to just be careful. Yeah. Uh, that I don't s over swing. Roger. Atlanta's heading is one three five. So this bundle of cable you're seeing on the right is the cable we're going to pull eventually. We're going to have to deal with that you just not to the right of your screen. Okay. The green or the mm. orange? If you turn to the right a bit and you'll oh. see... Uh, oh, yeah. That. See. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can't miss it. <laughs> That's bundly, all right. Good morning, AJ. That's for me. I thought you learned your lesson yesterday. All right, and we're also going to recover this green cable. So if we could just sit here and just have a quick look at this. Yep. The green on the right, not the green on the left. The green on the, the squirrely one or the slinky one, that's only like a 10 meter cable. The green one on the horns? On yeah, the, it goes from the horns to the third port on a panel. So yep. we have to somehow get the connector out underneath the slinky green one. Yeah. And then we're going to pull everything off the bullhorns and free it kind of towards our, towards kind of this area back in here for recovery. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it would make sense. The connector part looks like it's on the inside of the horns, not the outside. Yeah. That would make sense. It's not you. It just it never was pulled off the platform all the right. way. Right. Um, all right, if we can follow the green cable, the one sure. on the right, okay, and that'll take us to Sonya Village. Okay, uh, just wait for a little more leash on Atalanta. I'll get a yep. position on the IP <coughs> along the way as we do that. I can probably get okay, up there yeah. for, for that right now. I'm going to do another bump on five meters. I think we'll be safe. I'm just watching. There's yeah. a spire that we're going towards. No, they're on a milk crate. A spire. They're in yeah. a milk crate. Bridge. Nah. They won't come off the RV till they've been taken. So they'll live on the RV till we actually just take took the samples. So one five meters by the time south, we put them down. 
Thank you. Pretty much, yeah. Let me know One of the first things we're doing. here on it. Just yeah, take a look at it. Okay, bubble. we already got our first step down, yeah. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Hi. All right. Call it, call it good. Call it good. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, let's get a little closer. Good here. enough. <laughs> MEF South. IP 2023-06, Okay. This is all tracking. Not everything's Follow about 20 meters cable. out. Well, that's the thing. They're still... Do you want to go check on them? They're still out there rigging it right now, yeah. That way you'll see kind of how the layout right, looks. Dan, so we're following are. the green cable over to the Sanya village. Once we right. get a little more leash with Atalanta, I just bumped south um, with Atalanta, and I probably should have bumped south. 135, not south. And that'll give us leash, hopefully, to get there. Yeah. It's uphill to... Uh that way it's uphill, but yeah, yeah. About 60 meters of gotcha. clearance, clearance, see what happens. He can, all, all, he can all, always change his bearing on the fly. Yeah. She, I don't know, shift change, maybe. Yeah. We'll get more south and hone it in. Um, as you know, there's that very tall smoke and mirror spire. Yep. And then there's the... How far away is that? I, I can't see on this little nav screen. What? So um, that's right uh -huh. here on the nav screen, and then the bars is just next to it. Um, so what, you're looking at it. That's their that's You're looking their at Hypac, points. aren't you? Yeah, Let me sorry. pull up Hypac. Uh, yeah. Hypeserve. Hypeserve. Is that on one of the PCs? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is their IP target, and right. this is our IP target that's south of it. So right. this is their bars, so I'm expecting that we're going to be going west. And then Smoke and Mirrors, which is here on the map, is actually going to be just south of bars. Right there. So should be north of it with Atalanta. So Jake needs to turn left and follow that green cable. Go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, if you got the leash for it. I'm just uh, waiting on Atalanta. You want a little more, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. it's coming. I, I called it in, so it'll take a little bit of time. I see some pictures in the folder now. Oh, you see them? Yeah, maybe they just take a minute to show up. I don't know what. That's data engineer magic there why they they go there and then they go disappear oh, no. onto a hard drive somewhere Okay, now it's going to do a handover, so give us a couple minutes back here. Yeah. Mm. Looks like Alvin droppings on the left there. Yeah, they're kind of sprinkled all over around here. Cover bars in Sunny Village. Is it the uh, green cable to the left? Uh, I think it's the bright Yeah, one. it is if you are looking. I'm at a fork in the road here. Yeah, just hold on one second. Yep. It is going to be. Yeah. I'm facing east. You're facing east right now? Yeah, it should be dead ahead, us. yeah. Okay. You can see the instrument. I think I see, yeah, I see it. How long 
is up in town, man. Okay, so, um, well, Ricky, can you bring up the Sonya bars? You already have. You already got it. You've got it brought up. Nice. Okay, so we're, wa we're watching temperature on the bars. I'll even turn the auto refresh on. Okay, Dirk, there's your Christmas tree. Where do you want this thing? Whoa, that is all the Christmas tree is all new since Whoa. we touched it last year. Yeah, we're going to smash it with a <laughs> big half inch. Right what is the temperature on the bars right now, Megan? 298 degrees. 298 degrees. That's yeah. a healthy bars. Well, I guess it's not healthy, but the temperature seems to be working. It's This chimney is What's very that? cute. Um. Yeah. So, new bars. Um, as soon as Rennie's out of there, you can it out. Oh, this is the other type of bars. Pardon? Oh, this is, what are you saying? Never mind. Okay, so, so first um, thing is we want to ditch this stuff on the, we want to ditch the bars on the porch. Yeah, so I can tell you, if you look at the terrain here, Jake, yeah. up it's really difficult to land on the other side oh, okay. and to your right because it's uphill. Good. Yeah, and the current at the moment looks like it's going right yeah. to left. So, yeah. Roger. I would come around and nuzzle up close to the other one because we're gonna have to unplug the stuff and plug the other one Oops, in. Roger. Uh, maybe we'll put the pig. Uh, let me look around for a minute here. So. Uh, maybe on the right side of that. No, we're gonna have. We're, we're gonna, gonna need have to room do some to work around here. Yeah. yeah, I would maybe go on the right side of this rock, and okay. we'll put this one right next to the other one. If you're happy with that. Yeah. That's and then good. we can land on the rock to do the. Uh, actual as long work. as we put it in a spot that we can pull the other one up, yeah. without kind of getting tangled in the new one. Yeah. Well, so let's. Cause we're gonna drag the old one out of here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe to your right a little more. All right. And set this can new set one. Set the toe on. Oh. Yeah, it's very fragile. This year, trust animal. Uh, maybe right a little more so the. Don't touch the cable. Back up a little. Back up. I'll suck you in. Uh, all right. Right, some more. Curb feelers. Can you slide right some more? Yeah, I'm sliding. Uh, I'd back up a little though. Yeah, I need I some more I room to work. This has grown quite a bit since since we were here last. That bars is buried, falling over. So the problem with landing here is you're landing. Yeah. It's uh, a depression, uh, so the yeah. back of the vehicle's landing. Butt end first, yeah. I can tell them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, That's why. But yeah, there's not a lot we can do about that now. Put the but toe I'm on that rock right there, but then it's going a little too close, right? Yeah. yeah. I was, can you come up and change your heading to the right a little? So when we get the stuff off, then. Request change at video. Yeah, that's, that looks good there. Okay. That gives me some room to. So, Megan, we want to. Um, Um, before you get too 
have set up there. Yep. I'm going to slide the... Do I need to slide the porch out? Want me to look down? Um, your heading's coming yeah, around. I'm coming around, coming around, yep. I'm going to put the porch out. Maybe it'll, uh, yeah. it'll lock itself on that little rock there. Roger. Ready? Yep, ready. That's probably too far. Is it going to hold itself there? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I feel like if you change your head. Heading to the right more? Yeah, I think so. I don't so. want to hit that cable though, it does. Oh, let me retract, but. Yeah. Looks like it found a perch. Oh. Still sliding. Let's see if I can hold it. We can also click in on our heading and it'll find a home. stable as we're going to get, right. you'll be able to get it more stable when we pr run into that thing. <laughs> okay. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. As long as you're happy. Oh, ecstatic. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of look down a little bit. Looking for you. down, yep. If I can get it out there without tagging that cable, we'll see what happens. See you, Thanks, honey. Um, look to your right just a little bit. I'm sure I'm not hitting a rock over here. That's good.
lights on. Okay, let's grab this trash here for later collection. That's a nice half empty porch. Hey, we got to take the old one out before we take these measurements? Yeah, so we want to first get a good look at it, um, see if we can just kind of zoom in on the different spots on yeah. that mound. Let's um, come up and come around to the, you can perch on the rock. Yeah, sure. That way you're not uh, hey. perched on your tail, because you're going to want to get a stable for a good zoom. Oh. I can uh, put the porch out a little if you want to. That helps. Why not? It'll be easier to get these things in and out. <coughs> so we um, want to land. I think I think I want the porch in. Okay. And oh, yeah, we're a lot lighter now. <laughs> put the yeah. land right in the middle of the porch at the right, right. top of that rock there. I'm going to play with your camera a little if you're all right with that. Yep, I'm all right with that. Um, Oops, just don't take bubble. see the porch. Yeah, put the center of your porch right on that rock. Been on that rock before. Megan had it open here, but I don't know which tab. She had it on her laptop. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know how to use the Mac system. Happy? Happy. Okay, I'm going to tilt up. I'm going to wow the crowd. What the hell? <laughs> well, yeah, look at that. what's the temperature at right now? Okay, so if we can just zoom in cool. when you guys are happy on your landing. We're happy. You happy, Jake? I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Take a quick look this at the, where the nozzle goes in. And yeah. so the next step is we're going to remove this nozzle from this mound. Yeah, slowly so it doesn't crack. Right here's Megan. <laughs> uh, give us a zoom in there, Pete. We'll have it just to have a look before we go. Looks okay. like a hornet's nest on top of this thing. Let's, let's get some imagery of the hornet's nest before we... Uh, yeah. As soon as I touch it, it's gone. I can't believe how much this has grown in a year. Oh, look at those DSCs. Perfect. Whew. Yeah. Okay, it's so beautiful. Right now Can I destroy it now? <laughs> <laughs> so... Right now, we're reading almost 300 degrees on the temperature probe inside that bar's um, sensor. And uh, Dan, are you have you done this before where you one, can't pull one, it out? Once you, or twice, yeah. So the <laughs> idea is we're monitoring, monitoring the temperature on this side, yeah. and we're kind of trying to... Just a bit, Pete. I'll walk you yeah, through the strategy out. when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, you're monitoring the temperature. I pull it out. You Very yell small. at me because I pulled it out too fast. <laughs> Okay, you can zoom back in. So once it's loose, we'll check the temperature, move it out an inch or two, and let it sit there for five minutes, and monitor temperature. If you do it too fast, it can crack the sensor. Yeah. Yeah, 
zoom in a bit for us there, Pete. Oh, that's good. What'd you do? Touched it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, calling temperatures. Yes. I'm We're cracking this thing. Ready? Here we go. Is that a affirmative? Ready? Yeah, you're you're ready to go. Okay, here we go. Just inch or two at a time. Still at two ninety eight. We only get an update every fifteen seconds. Roger. Okay, I'll stop there for a second. I yeah, can get yeah. update. That's good. Uh, Wait no, till I get no the change. reamer out. <laughs> no change. <coughs> okay, pulling it out a little bit. <gasps> oh, I went too far. It's getting cold. Just hang on there for a sec. Yeah, sorry. That was... Uh, I had to put a little jam to get it to move, so. I'll just let it sit there for a little bit. i do that. Sit here all night if you want. Sure. Yeah, no, that's good. 298, still. So we'll just, uh, just keep it there for one more sample. Go a little, uh, tighter for three in a row. Four speed. Okay, so we got three in a row. If you want to try and move it another, maybe inch up. All right, there. go a little tighter. It's pretty. Yeah, that's really Steve says this um could a actually also be a good site for the RAS PPS. Uh, if we can find there. some shimmering water or some shiny water. A good site for the RAS PPS. Look at all that gold. Uh we can look into that. We've got about Calcopyre. eighteen hours to figure that out, but um mm -hmm. it would be easier to deploy it here. Coming up an inch. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, so no. we're still not, uh two ninety eight. See, I this thing is. I'm just giving it a little more. wiggle. I'm putting quite a bit of jam on it there. It's in there. Oh, you got the, you got all the tricks. Wiggle, rotate. Nice job, Dan. Stuck. It is still hot, hot, hot. Yeah, we got, we got stuck, time. Stuck, stuck, stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's a few critters on the top there. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Bobby, it looks like you're getting samples. He's gone. I think he stepped out. Bobby, I'll ask him. Hey, Fabio. Oh, I'll get him. I, yeah, I think he stepped out. Is that full zoom, is it, Pete? Sorry? Is that full zoom? No. Ooh. That is there, is it? Uh, that's full zoom. All right. Dude. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, walk around a little bit. Try not to move your vehicle, Jake. I mean, I'm trying it. not to move you, sorry. I can't tell it's a bubble. But bring me sorry, back. I had to get a little western with it there. It looks like it's going to come out. You're reaming the hole? Yeah, the vehicle just popped back down. So, here we go, coming up. Those animals, I'm sure, kind of preferred the hot adjacent. Yeah, they're they're not happy now. Oh, look at the little worms there, Fabio. The worms growing on the um on the sensor. There's a they're move walking around on there. Palm worms, that's the sampling you want, right? Later on. Megan, still no drop, only an increase? Yeah, you're 
Yeah, I it's shoved it's it back in. It's only one degree. Okay. <laughs> scale, um, scale matters. I got it out a bit there if you want to wait for an yeah, update. Yeah, just hang on there. Grab it. Just before we cook the poor little ones. Oh, they're happy now. So what causes it to shimmer like that? I think it's just the temperature difference between the three degree water and then the 300 degree water right next to it. Right. Same as like that. Oh, we got our first drop down to 250. Okay, am I good to, uh, I'm gonna get two readings there, are you good? I didn't get a yay or an A there. Uh, come up just a little bit more. Oh, right. well, what's that? It's 225? 250. 250. Oh, okay. And now we're 207. Okay, 207. so just have it sit there. You want to sit here? Just till we get another 207. Right up. Yeah, Is there's it? a second 210. Okay, so a little more. A little more. Copy that. Coming up a little bit more. Another inch. Yeah, up. Which way is it up? It's, I think it's this way. Seems to be stuck. Just jump back up to 300. Yeah, I'm <coughs> putting quite a bit of jam on it. I'm afraid it's just going to come flying out of there. It's, it's just happened before. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to do some reaming later. Pull in really hard. Yeah. Sweet. Flies out <laughs> of there. And the more room disrupts and pandemonium. Well, the great thing about all this is this is that's a very healthy <laughs> little vent with a nice hole in it already. Uh, mm. That beehive was cool, though. Was. Pardon? The beehive on top. Was yeah. Cool. Apparently not a hornet's nest. Apparently it's <laughs> called a beehive. <laughs> Straight from Steve. Okay. Good for another some more. Yeah. We're still back up at 300, so. Oh, I'm going to have to kind of come around here on the minute. Oh, that looks, that looks good. There's progress. There we go. Ooh, I can see the That's good. sensor maybe. Okay, I'm all stopped. Yeah, just hang on. Oh, we saw uh, a nice bit drop, of a drop down there. to 235. We'll wait for a couple more things. Two thirty. Let's add another one at the same. Or no data. Okay, yeah. it went back. Two eighty two. Okay, we can um, bring it out a little more. Another two inches or so. Yeah. Right there, two inches or so. Okay, there, we'll just see what that does. Yeah, 225. 225, get a couple pings there, and then, yeah, that's, we're gonna drop out. it there. Slowly, Slowly sliding. Slide now. I can put it back in if you want. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd say it's out. Just hold it there, yeah. I don't think we putting it back in is gonna do much. Can I use it to move stuff while I'm waiting?
Uh, it's telling us it is at 167. 167, so we'll just let it sit there for a little bit. Right. I'm surprised it's that hot there. Yeah. I was expecting it to be like three. I don't think it is. I don't I think it's 167 way out there. Sensor lag. Yeah, that's that's. It just, just bounced up to 240. Wow, I just moved an inch. So. Wow. Is that back to 167? 210. Wow. 210. Interesting to see what our temp probe says. Yeah. I wouldn't think it's that hot that far away from the vent. Your temperature two probe degrees. is two two degrees. degrees. Yeah. That's off? No, I mean when I put our probe there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mark that spot. On the yeah, that is yeah, 232 Parkinson's. was the last one. Okay, I think, can we just bring it up, like, essentially just straight up? Straight A couple up. inches, not too far, but just two, three more inches. Yeah, let's see what it does there. Is the brow cam giving us any more information? Sure. Uh, I just don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're at six. Six. Okay, uh, we'll leave it at six better. for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> before we take it to three. <laughs> Yeah, I get a few pings six at six, and then... All right, so, I mean, that was a pretty good one. It's a pretty sharp wall. I don't think you can ever miss that wall, really. Still three? Or... So we had a question come in. What was that beehive made of, and, like, why was it forming around... So the latest temperature was five. Okay. That is a good um, question. I what don't was it made out of? Yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, I think it's, my guess would be mostly like um, sulfides. I don't know. Massive sulfides. Massive sulfides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, uh, we got a room full of engineers and technicians here, so right. no scientists. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you missed the scientist part. <laughs> no, but I know there's like a lot of minerals in there, like pyrites in there. Yeah, calcopyrite. Yeah. Dan, do you know what else could be Gold, in there? Copper. Copper. All kinds of heavy metal. Yeah. Yub. No, I don't know the particular stuff. But it's like all massive sulfides, I think. You're right. over the years. <laughs> so, Megan, I think that this is pretty good for temperature. Yeah, I mean, it's so I can, it's I cold, can so. get rid of yeah. this thing now. <laughs> yeah, you can put it over to the side where it's right. out of the way. Okay, Pete, you want to go away and formulate and see what, what's going on here? Over by its, by its brains. What's that? Over by its... <laughs> it's can. Yeah, let's see if we can, uh... By the pig. <laughs> by the pig, yeah. It's the universal name for the bars. We're going to have to pick up this whole... All this stuff later and not... You know, let's put it down in between and uh, put it in the tool basket, eh? Kind of... You want a, uh... What are we doing now? We so now we want to um, reamer it. Yeah, so we want to fish out the reamer. Roger that. Okay, Jake, uh, you tilt want? down for me. Tilt down right here. Okay. Might have gotcha. to rack back too. Definitely want to rack back so I don't poke you in the eye. Right? So, um, Sean, just. Can you request system support turn off J3 on JB10? Yeah, to turn it off. That should do it. Okay, so now we're into the reaming here. Okay.
Really? That's a strong tire up. Careful now, the craft is weaponized. <laughs> okay, you can uh, rack back forward, please. Good. And uh, tilt up when you get a chance. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then the, there looks like something here. What did we do to this thing? We hockey taped it? Yeah. Oh. I wonder, There's there are a few cables down there we can look into. Oh me, a melting! <laughs> oh no, <laughs> her reamer. There, I, think it's, it. <laughs> I think it's reamed, yeah. That's, that's reamed. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's actually smoke coming off of that thing. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely some burnt. I'd say it's some hot. burnt reamer over there for sure. Oh, yeah, it's. <laughs> Look at that thing! It's just red <sighs> hot. Oh, that's that's some. Sorry, Jake. Chilling right there. there. Three hundred to three. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't crack. I wouldn't put that in the bio box if I oh mean It would be funny to also Tilted. have the Raz PPS and heck no cone uh, right next to this all in this <laughs> tiny little pot. Yeah, let's put it in the starboard box. Right. Did I bounce you off the rock or is it still uh, good? Would be the most steady little I think it's all right. hive. Alright. Yeah, it's right next to the other stuff that's down there. Sample try out. Okay. Okay. So You're next is a temperature probe. Oh we have an answer for um, from our from our scientist, I'm heading. I'm kind of physical oceanographer right right from Ocean Networks. So I can right read right that out for the what's in the um, what sorry, is it Derek, made of? Uh, uh, are we team temperature probe? Yeah, we're going to do the temperature probe just to confirm. Roger. What's that? Uh, I don't know how to quantify melting plastic. Back and look down. <laughs> I don't know if that's a temperature. <laughs> Can't so from yeah, what's the limit on the temperature probe? 400 C. 400? Shouldn't, shouldn't have brought the plastic one. J3 on JB10 confirmed power off. Okay, thanks, John. So Steve, one of the staff scientists um, from Ocean Network Scanner, says minerals strip from the rocks that the hydrothermal vents flow through. Um, once they hit the oxygen, they start making things like pyrite, etc. Most of the mines on land used to be hydrothermal sites subsea. Hydrothermal vents are concentrated concentrators for minerals. But I'm only a physical oceanographer working with geochemists. <laughs> well, I appreciate uh, that answer. That satisfies me at least. Hi, Steve. That's that high was from Dan, Steve. How come you're not out here with us? Back so soon. Probe. So your probe doesn't mind just getting getting up to 300, or do you still have to do the slow insert? Our probe doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. It's not high maintenance like your probe. <laughs> <laughs> so where is the temperature on this probe? It's down. Okay. This one here. Uh, tilt up for me, Jake. Make yep. sure I don't this have right cooking the manip there. And the readout is this one, cook but I can make it big. I want to cook the manip. 
And uh, so Steve, just okay. let us know when you're happy. Right. We're gonna want full zoom there. Right. There, Dick. Right now we are on. Go ahead, Pete. Full zoom, please. 2.2 .2 <laughs> degrees Celsius. And tilt up a little, Jake. Roger. And the live readout. Full zoom. Okay, here we go. The shaky arm is going to make this kind of a erratic reading, but. 10 degrees. 64 degrees. Right. 106. 137. Are oh, your readouts faster than ours? Right. 180. Yeah. 190, 203, 220, 325, 230. Yeah. 241. Still climbing. Okay, so we didn't use. What are we at there? 256. 256. We kind of want that 300 confirmed, but I don't know if we can reposition it slightly. Yeah, can do. I can't see why it wouldn't be that, but. Get it where it's not moving around there. It's incredible that that little organism can still move. <laughs> <laughs> that little wormy guy? Yeah, palm worm, yeah. Later on, we'll be sampling some of those. Oh, nice. They're hilarious when they fight with each other. <laughs> oh, yeah, when you sit and zoom in on them? Yeah, I can yeah. watch them for hours. <laughs> They're really cute. I like them. I imagine their fighting's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. They <laughs> <laughs> can actually, they're pretty agile. 260. What was your probe saying? 238? Uh, 300. Really? Yeah, but that was down in the That bay. was down in the hole, yeah. Oh, look. I've got well, a I friend can visiting. I'll stuff this one down in there if you want. Two sixty five at the surface. Slowly, slowly climbing. I mean I think we're all confident that this is a hot enough. Nice and toasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's okay. Spoken. Spot for bars. Yeah, so no need to stick it all down there. This kinda confirms that our temperature probe was on the bars was working. Yeah. Two seventy <laughs> now. Two seventy, that's good. I would say by the melted uh, what's the melting temperature? Electrical tape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's and probably rope. not that There's high. There's some rope in there. About 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Still okay. 270 is still rising. Hang so on. Steve says, jam it in there. It is what it's for. <laughs> Who says this? Steve. Steve. Roger that, Steve. <laughs> you just want to cook the manipulator and see me out He's there. He's flailing to fix it. <laughs> Okay, Maybe if you help. heat it up, it'll stop shaking. Danny will fix it right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do we get in the hole? <laughs> 272. It's climbing. Oh, it's yeah. climbing a little bit. It's not the temporal. It's what you can't see is the manipulator getting red hot <laughs> up above it. <laughs> and it does have rubber. Yeah, there we go. It too. I think that's, what's the temperature now? 286. Yeah, that's good. 287. Ooh, did we get 290? We went 300, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we also want the manipulator. Yeah, um, yeah I don't want to know yeah. if I get that close. <laughs> <laughs> and time. Yeah. You, if you're watching, we might need some more spare Two. parts. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's good enough. We, we don't need to reach 300. It'll be fine. We'll confirm it with the bars later. 290. That we will. 290. Yeah. We're almost and there, though. <laughs> so close. Okay, I've lost interest. 290. <laughs> 290. Slowly rising. 
We're going to have to find another spire. Seems to be pretty stable at 290 there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So one of them's off by 10. Go, uh, zoom out for me a bit, uh, Pete. So, yeah, we're, uh, let's, yeah. we're going to have to do this later, too. Okay, I'm coming out with that. 290 seems to be stable. Yeah. And that's uh, that far in the hole. Yeah, so we're, we'll get in there. Roger. Okay, Jake, uh, we're done with this temp probe, are we? Okay, so now it's the is isobaric. A, is that a roger? I can put this thing yeah, away. Yeah, you can put that away from our side. Uh, you rack back for me again, and I'll see if I can hit the magnet here. I'm racked back. Uh, go wide, Pete. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna. It's so fun just going through these steps, as opposed to a, sometimes a grotto where every step's a challenge, and you can't mm -hmm. do this, then you can't do this, then you can't ream, then you can't find a hot hole. Then. Where is this? Step going? There's a right, lollipop there, plate, here, right? The plate. Uh, Dirk, uh, Shore confirmed that the grotto bars is totally pooched. Yeah. So if you want, we can um, just make sure that that port is shut off. Okay. Sure. What port is that grotto bars on? Oh. Grotto. Okay, nice. next is uh, blue, is it? Next is the are those two things. gas sites on your porch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rack out, Jake. Rack out. Rack out. Is it rack J1 out. or is it J? J3. I think it's J3. Yeah. Oh, and then tilt down. Do you mind getting them to shut down J3? Or make sure it shut down. Yeah. It just it should be, but yeah. We said the blue one first, right? I feel like of all the things we do, this is my favorite. Sonia bars. Did I ever tell you T handles or don't really care for them? <laughs> you might have said that once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pop. Goes to tear it. No, that thing's heavy. Oh, you like caught, caught behind. You caught yeah. behind the back the of the other the one. Back of the other one, yeah. Mm -hmm. See the. watching the cable, not the tip. Supposed to, uh... Oh, oh, oh. No, this has gone horribly pear-shaped. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, I think, um... Put the magnum... I'm gonna do a handoff here and... Yeah, yeah, these are the isobaric ones, yeah. Hey Jeb, do you have um, which isobaric corresponds to which color? Uh, they're, they're identified by the color, I guess, so. Yeah, blue is to blue and uh, yellow yeah. is to yellow. Yeah. But do you have it recorded, like, is what the device ID is for the blue one? Um, yellow oh, is B, blue is A. I have the device IDs for them. Okay. B is A. It's <laughs> interesting. Mm 
Yeah, I don't know why they chose that. I would have chose blue as B, personally. So, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Was that you, Deb? <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> well spoken. Lengthy story. Lengthy yeah, story. there's no... <laughs> well, I get self-conscious. I've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't admit it now. Not with this many eyes and ears on. <laughs> no. The world is listening. <laughs> <laughs> the world is listening. I do get a uh, live temperature readout from these samplers as well. So oh, cool. we can compare that as a third measurement if we want. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah. Hey, Jeb, do you know which order we're triggering those in? Is there any given order? Uh, I just have the dive plan to go by for that, and it looks like they're interchangeable. If they're both being taken at the same site, I think okay. we're fine. Yeah. All right. And, Jeb, for these, huh. is it similar to a regular gas site? You get that nozzle in there as deep as you can and take the sample? Well, the instructions I've got here, mostly for operating the controls, also have a bit of a note there saying they're looking for clear fluid just within or beneath the lip of the vent orifice. Okay, so it's still inside. Still inside, I All guess, right. before it turns dark. But you're not reaming. I guess not. Sorry, oh. sorry. Also, the uh, the nozzle isn't as deep as the temperature probe or the bars. Just planner again, Jake. Right. Yep. Oh. Yeah, sorry, and Steve bit. confirms uh, the isobarics are duplicates. Two of the same. I'm gonna go Oops. down here. You can, oh, I got low. Oh. Yeah, you can float for a minute. Let me grab a hold of this thing okay. while you're floating. But it's an unfortunate angle. Oh. Bounce. Nope. Don't bounce it off again. Uh. <coughs> and, uh, that um, cable is. Uh, it's. Tired? I don't know if we can. Maybe it'll place a better setup. But I don't know how sensitive that cable is. I guess it's just an electrical signal. It's not really a... Yeah, but it's um, it's like super stiff now. It wasn't like that when we coiled it up. They were... Nice and flexible. It was all back coiled. It was nice It's a little and colder now, maybe. Maybe it's that yeah. plastic's not handling the cold well. The wrap. Yeah. yeah, it's like wire. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a, a issue. There is a piece of rubber under the uh, ICL ring there, so I'm planning on grabbing it here, just not quite so soon. Want me to Maybe I'll put it over the vent and warm it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, pen right, for pen me, right, please. Yep. Need the reamer or something back to hold the thing on the uh, tilt up. Other up. Okay, I don't push my luck anymore. Yeah, go ahead. Sure thing. Uh, here is target. your coordinate on high pack. Tilt it down. And the depth here, well, this map doesn't have depth. The depth here is 21.95. No problem.
you stay on your <laughs> hockey puck. <laughs> Um, is that Jeb in here? What's this? That's that. Is Jeb in here? Yeah. Jeb, are you getting a reading from that thing now? Uh, do you got the port powered up right now? What's that? Is it should. Uh, powered up? Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't I see. I see ICO? Right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's on. Can you uh, open the toolbox? I'm going to grab a yes. heavy object and lay on that thing. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing temperature coming through now. Oh, oh thank you. Wow. <laughs> 5.7 degrees C. Roger. Seems right. Sample tray out. Roger. Toy and box. And just triple checking, the screen's a little far. That's blue we're starting with? Correct, yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. The old bars is not looking so hot. Is that a pun? <laughs> <laughs> That's very see, clever. What do we got in here? We got, uh, how about a parking position? I don't do. We do have three of them. Works, I'll be amazed. <laughs> it's our temperature doing. Anyway. <laughs> Pretty stable. How many tilt down? Yeah. Yeah. Just checking all the data. Stay there. That's the difference. Yeah, maybe. Should have put more hockey pucks on there, I think. I'm really excited to see this um, flange pool. Yeah, me too. I get over You're this. trying to get through this as quick as possible <laughs> so you can go and see it. Okay. Yeah. Is that the next stop after this? Uh, the next, oh. we first have to finish the install. Oh, yes, I see. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hmm. This is going to be difficult. Okay. The ring is coming loose. Slide it off here. Yeah, it doesn't have much range. I did lose the temperature. Yeah, sorry, the sub's moving around and yeah. everything's going pear-shaped here. <laughs> no sweat. Stick lock ain't gonna do it. Yeah, yeah I've been holding it. <laughs> okay. Old boy said to me, "Let's stop pushing buttons and fly that ROV." Told 
actually fall. Yeah, we really don't have anything else to put on there. Uh, I got the reamer. Yeah, I guess so. Just don't know. The reamer is probably better than that. Probably, but it's harder to get out of the box. I don't have a fishtail on it anymore. We do have a candy cane. They <laughs> <laughs> could pick up some rocks and pile on there. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> there we go. We could put in old bars on there. We got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I'm really surprised that cable's not uh, compliant. That was not expected. It's got to be that red plastic wrap. Yeah, that's kind of. Can I open? Oh, no. Nope, 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 yeah, nope, yeah, nope, yeah, nope. Never nope. got a hold of it. T bar. It's going to be all aligned this way, right, or it'll fall out of there. Like that, nope. I think. Nope. Oops. Nope. Wrong button. Why? That's well, not me. Don't do this to me now. I think I'm gonna have to do it over here. I got Joe Lock on. Oh. Uh, now you can open the jaw. All right. Just give it a bump. Yeah. Thank you. I think you're on the nozzle. No, never mind. Don't move. Can I bend don't the move. nozzle back don't where move. it should be? Oh, don't do it, Jake. Don't do it. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you pan up or do you want me to pan up? It, Danny's got it. I mean, tilt up. She's not like a rookie. Just gonna put uh, buble on the. Yeah, put buble on the rock. <laughs> nope, nope. Um. Okay, that should be good for now. Then. Thank you. Um, you still seeing the zoom in connection, Jeb? Oh, 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 stay. Let me just double check here. I'm sliding off a tiny bit. Tilt up a little more. Oh, wait. You in there? It looks Look. like it's Look. stopped. Yeah, I don't see any new readings coming through right now. Oh no. Like maybe we can it's still just on there, I can see it a little bit. It is? Okay. Yeah, but it might be at an angle. That's true. I'm I can also uh turn it off and turn it on again. So it's definitely on there. I can okay. see it in there. I'm just gonna stop the sampling and start it up again. I think I saw the it twist a little bit. But you can see the hockey pucks there? So yeah, yeah, I can see them. Okay. Just give me a sec, I'll restart the uh, program. Cable's at a bit of a jaunty angle, so I'm sure that didn't help. Hmm. Yeah, she tilted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing any connection. Yeah, I think it tilted in there. Yeah. Roger. Okay, go um. ahead. And there's no way to leave this thing. No. Hmm. Tilt down. <coughs> Thank you, third hand. Um, I'm just gonna try and uh, pull the.
cable a little, see if it... Oh. Tell me if you, if and when you get a connection. Sure, I'm just going to leave it running. Nothing yet. How about now? Nope. Oh. Hmm. Still nothing? You, yeah, just hang out there for a sec. I'm going to swap over to B and just see the, the yellow one, see if it's talking. Oh, that took, I think it dropped down. Yeah. yeah I think be. now you should see something. It could. Okay, B is happy. I'll go back to A. Blue. If A is not happy, I would say the. Okay, we're good now. I'm seeing readings okay. coming through on blue. Okay, nice. tilt up. Yep. Good work, Jeb. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked a button. Thanks Crunch those me. numbers again. Crunch. <laughs> look, Crunch. Uh, look harder, boy. <laughs> Are you sure you're looking in the right spot? I think so. <laughs> Tilt up a bit more. Oh, okay. gee. And there it goes again. So. Oh. Are you saying you don't have data? I'm saying, uh, it, yeah, it stopped reporting again. It's just on that edge. It's tight. Uh, it's such a tight range. Um, um, maybe you the porch. Yeah, that could, that's actually not a bad idea. Now, I'm, I'm wondering if it loses connection once. It might not come back automatically unless I stop and start it, so I'll have to give that a shot. Okay. Restarted it. Don't see anything. Danny, did you say bump the porch? Yeah. Or what did you say? It might be seated. I think I might fall off the rock. Yeah, you're the okay. flow there. I'm like... Eh. I'm having trouble holding this thing up. Go away. Yeah, ye yellow is still happy, but blue is not it's coming through. Just at that slight angle. Mm. Give it another shot here. Nothing yet. Yeah, I see what's happening. Okay, rack okay. back and uh, tilt down. what this instrument's designed for. <laughs> Okay, I'm just restarting it, and it's happy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay, let's just see how consistent it is. Yeah, looks all right. Okay. Um, if I just don't move. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's holding their breath. Okay, tilt up. Okay, Chapman, don't, don't lose it. Keep watching it. <laughs> Don't, like, don't like breathe. 
like a hawk, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it slip away from us this time. <laughs> I'm a little farther away because I slid down. Yeah. Now, taking the sample takes about four minutes to... Roger, so I can get there from here. Yeah. I'm on thumb lock right now. Okay, temperature is still coming through. Still seeing ambient. So close. Yeah, ambient. Okay, I should be in the plume there. Okay. Think that's what we're looking for, Jeb? Kind of nice. just in the... Just inside, yeah. Okay, yeah. big spike. I'm seeing 270. Whoa. Yeah. 290. Okay, oh. Wow. There's your calibration. Yeah. Battle of the temperature probes. Now, I'm not sure if they gave a threshold for when to hit the trigger. Before uh, it loses comms. <laughs> I can do it any time. What do you say? Do, do it. Do I'm it. happy, do yeah. If it's uh, the temperature, sure. Okay. Re reach the target temperature. I'm going to go for take the sample. Just double check we still got readings coming through before I do. We do. You said it takes four minutes? Takes about four minutes, yeah. Start the timer. Okay. This time is a very technical so gas I've to take. <laughs> I've taken the sample. Okay, and I to the other ones? I can see a, oh. a spike in the current, which signifies the valve has started opening. Imagine trying to take this at Grotto or any of those places. Four minutes? Like, normally we can barely even take one gas tight sample, but it's <laughs> instant. Yeah. <laughs> well, the nice thing about this is you only need one arm most of the time. If you're sitting on a hot spire, though, this would be... Hey. Yeah, dancing. <laughs> You'll be dancing, yeah. Okay, I'm still seeing readings. Temperature seems to be hanging out at around 293. Yeah, that's about what we got with our probe there. We should have scared those with a bigger rubber. How band. do you know when the sample is done, Jeb? So I'll see another spike in the current draw at the end that shows the valve is closing automatically. And uh, that's our signal. We still got a couple minutes. I see there's still. Hanging out at the tool basket down there. Okay, it looks like the valve has started to close. I'll keep an eye on it to see when it's finished. Is it pumping? Or is it um, like just vacuum prep to like the other gas tights? Or how does this work? Yeah, I believe so. It's just... Uh, just electronic valve? Uh, yeah, exactly. Electromechanical opening the flow path from the nozzle into the chamber. It's a high pressure valve there at the end of the wand. You can't see it in this picture. Yeah, it's just hiding behind. You can see the one in the bubble cam there. Okay, I see what appears to be a picture perfect copy of the manual for <laughs> indication that the valve is closed. <laughs> You sure you're not looking at the manual? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just scroll up and down to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I see the two peaks when it started and when it finished. So just give me a sec to uh, shut it down. Okay, the sampler's been stopped. We're good. Sweet. Yeah, awesome. Okay, go wide, please. And you. I can just set this thing down here and grab the other one, I reckon. Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can set this down where the sample's been collected.
I'm sure that doesn't bug it sitting down there. Oh, sorry. Okay, you want to look down for me? My little thing slipped off there. So. Might use it to set. Maybe I should set it on the porch on top of the other one. Dan, is your plans to get rid of the? I think I'll do that. The milk crate eventually, or? Yeah, the whole mess. Okay, nice. Let's see what happens. I'll bring the other one out. But it's going to pop right off, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I still see Doug out there. Can you uh, rack out and look to the left a little? I can't quite see what I need here. The manipulator and bubble cam. Backwards. I think I'm blocking it with the camera, but yeah, there you go. I just lost the jaw trigger. Game over. It's behaving. Danny, you want to run? Run downstairs and grab that other master. I don't think it's the master, but we'll try it. What's that? No, just the master. I got tools up here. Well, we're going to have an intermission here, folks.
that, right? Well, yeah. Jaw's not closing? No. I don't know why it snapped open. Uh, yeah. Got me a bit nervous. Well, it is the master, so. Oh. It's working now. Yeah, it's the master. Yeah. Is it the same thing, same bit of geometer as that one? If I push the jaw too far, I lose the signal. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's kind of what we were seeing in the other one, where it would and then jump back up. That's a Tell me when they open. Fully closed. Open. Open. out the master controller here real quick um, in the top of the toolbox there where it says tools is the allen wrench kit uh, meanwhile you want to zoom in on the creatures yeah zoom in on something besides that master I just get bubble on the five thirty seconds not in there. Find something interesting to look at here. <laughs> I was gonna say the worm fight. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a lot of talk about worm fights earlier. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, little bump. I've seen I've seen the battles as well. <laughs> Jeb, what are the plans for that sample? That's something we're going to send back to the University of Minnesota, where Bill Seyfried and his student Guy are going to take a look at it. Um, it's a continuation of the study they've done. They had an instrument at this site a couple of years They're ago. They're keyed, so they only go one way. I don't think I see any drama on the rock here. I'll give it time. <laughs> the pressure's building right now. It's all part of the game. <laughs> it's quite a variety. I know, you've got some amphipod looking thing, the worm, and then some tube worms. Looks like you got some kind of crinoid or starfish or something over yeah, there. Something okay. leggy. Yeah, I think, oh, should be that the, one, right? in the lower right-hand right. corner. Yeah, yeah that's the Pompeii worm. Mm -hmm. Just oh, sort of it? inside no, the rock, right. yeah. That's just its head. Oh, oh darn. Okay. He tricked me. Yeah, so we've got scale worms and the Pompeii worms. Uh, I don't see any Oh, yeah, I see another one. There's some bacterial mat, and then there's tube worms in the, the upper What's that, middle area. Oh, yeah before I knew they were keyed. There was a fish that was hanging around here earlier. Yeah, I saw that. That guy in the background. Mm -hmm. And then over at the, um, the old instrument that we pulled out, there was a fish underneath it. Hmm. See, this one here is being very dramatic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scale yeah. worm on the move. <laughs> yeah. Let me tickle you. It's got, it's got little ticklers. are so pretty. I love how iridescent they are. Mm. The, this thing's a scale worm? Yeah. Oh. I don't know why, but they kind of remind me of um, roly polies. Yes, I was thinking that too. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not isopods. <laughs> they're not? No, these are polychaetes. Polychaetes. Yeah. Huh. 
So the Pompeii worms and the uh, scale worms are both polychaetes. And the scales, uh, they come off really easily when you collect them. Hmm. So it's hard to hard to get, get them all in one piece. Look at all those snails back there. Oh yeah, I saw those back there. It's like snail heaven. Anything interesting down below? On the oh no, they're I busy. think there might be a snail somewhere. Fix that thing. <laughs> Maybe that fish is still around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, come on. Might be back in action. So the uh, craft masters are very uh, complicated piece of engineering. They have a lot of very small wires that run through them. Uh, the one that always seems to give us trouble is uh, the one we use probably the most, the jaw. Well, that was a quick fix. Uh, we, uh, thanks to our friends at Woods Hole, we have a spare that we have handy just for such an occasion. But um, It has a bit of an issue as well, but uh, we, can, we can power through. And, uh, signal on this one is a bit it's got a few issues but it should be should be workable <coughs> uh, are you still communicating to yellow over there Jim? yeah just fired it up I haven't seen a sample come through yet no so you're no comms to it so no comms at the moment yeah on these things, but, uh, you know, because we got to get them off here, right? So. Yeah. yeah. I guess without the weight of the top one, that other kind of sat sideways. Off. Well, that should make it talk there. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and turn it on again. <laughs> Tech support. Yep, I'd like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm seeing four degrees. I might have to do the same thing here, play with it a little bit to get it. So I pull it out, the stiff cable here is probably going to... 